Penny Coal will do. A brand new coaling plant had opened on the mainland. As a goodwill gesture, they had sent a batch of their coal to Sir Topham Head. It was decided only some of the engines would test the new coal. Richard was one of them. At first, Richard was excited. However, problems soon arose. The coal burned a deep black color and built up clinker much quicker. At the end of the day, a rather filthy Richard arrived back at the sheds, wheezing something awful. My, my, Richard, gasped Oliver. You've certainly seen better days. I can't see much of anything right now, <laughs> coughed Richard. I don't think the coal is working like the fat controller had hoped. <laughs> you poor engine, sympathised Oliver. I've had my fair share of bad coal over the years. Why, well, when I was escaping here, we had to scrounge up whatever coal we could find to keep going. Truly dreadful it was. Hmm. Richard was amazed. I can't imagine how you kept going under such uh, c conditions, hmm, he marvelled. Well, boasted Oliver, that's all part of being a resourceful engine, you know. Ha! <laughs> it certainly toughens you up. Mm, I reckon I could use any kind of coal without issue now. Ha! Is that so, yon duck, eager for the conversation to end? Perhaps, Oliver, you should use the new coal tomorrow and give poor Richard a chance to feel better, eh? Oliver gulped, glancing back at the soot-covered Richard. Why, uh, why, yes, duck, you're you're right, he stammered, trying to sound brave. Uh, gladly, ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you, Oliver. <laughs> As the engines drifted to sleep, Oliver wondered just what he'd gotten himself into. The next morning, Oliver's bunker was being loaded with the new coal. Richard puffed past, looking much better. Good luck, Oliver, he whistled cheerfully. No luck needed, Oliver chuckled nervously. It didn't take long for the coal to take effect. By the time Oliver rolled into the yard, black smoke was pouring from his funnel. Are those storm clouds? asked a truck. I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. No, said another. It's an engine from the Great Wheezing Railway. <laughs> the trucks roared with laughter as Oliver bumped them into line. Uh, forgive me for saying so, Mr. Oliver, said Toad, but you you don't look in any shape to be pulling a train. Uh, uh, perhaps, uh, well, Mr. Duck or, or Mr. Richard could help. That's nonsense, Toad, interrupted Oliver. I've never been better. Oh, mark my words, this train will be early. Ha! <laughs> Toad was right to be concerned. The train was far from early. Oliver struggled down the line, the trucks laughing behind him. Come on, old boy, said the driver, as Oliver was having a rest. You can't keep running on this rotten stuff. I certainly can, wheezed Oliver. I'll make it through the day. <laughs> You'll see. The driver didn't wish to argue, so he said no more. Oliver was thankful as he backed down onto his last train of the day. The passengers were most surprised with what they saw. Did you know that the fat controller bought a new tank engine, Doggy? asked Donald. Look a wee bit closer, Donald, replied Douglas. It's Ollie with a new coat of paint. Looks fishing, doesn't it? Well, it looks much better oh, on nice. us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, say what you will, but I'm being a, a resourceful engine. And Oliver huffed out of the station. There is a slight gradient where the line crosses Bulgy's Bridge. Usually, this poses no challenge, but as Oliver struggled forwards, his wheels slipped 
slid and stopped. <laughs> Bother! <laughs> he coughed and disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Oh, you stubborn engine, fumed the driver. I told you we shouldn't have used that coal. Your smoke box must be packed with ashes. The guard ran back down the line to call for help, which meant he couldn't stay to pacify the passengers. They were furious. We're not going to miss our connection, they fumed. To Oliver's surprise, they got out of the coaches and descended down the embankment towards the road. Ha! Oh, another victory for the road, Spulgy growled. The clucking of the hens sounded like laughter to Oliver. Fortunately, Bertie was passing by. He gave Oliver a pitying look as he took the passengers away. It was dark before Oliver heard the whistle of an approaching engine. Oh, well, hello there, Oliver, smiled Richard. Is this what it means to be, um... Eh, uh, what, what was it now, remorseful? Oliver's face fell. He certainly felt remorseful. Well, that's all right, soothed Richard. Just because you had to use the bad coal to get to the island of Sodor doesn't mean you ever have to use it again. <laughs> uh, besides, uh, the fat controller's sending all that coal back. Gordon showered him in ashes earlier today at the station and ruined his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver couldn't help but laugh. And the two friends puffed cheerfully home.